Hi everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. Hope you are well. So today I wanted to give my weekly update in terms of the enter.art, enter.audio, NFT art finance project. So let's make a start, shall we? So let's have a look at the token, first of all. It's currently down just over 7% today, and that is because of the Russia and Ukrainian news of what's going on in the world at the moment. All the markets are, are down today which is no surprise, is it really, let's be honest. So if we look at the last day, not good. Look at the last seven days, there's been a gradual decline and, and a big slump. It, we did do quite well. Um, there was quite a few posts on Facebook and Twitter regarding, you know, that the token's pumping. But obviously we've had that news now. Um, so there's a lot of volatility in the market at the moment. If we have a look at the last month, very much in the green to start off with, but then in the red. We have a look at the last three months, not looking good at all. Uh, looking at the last year of when the project actually started, huge spike straight away, massive slump, then good recovery about almost midpoint, then again a trajectory downwards and again. And then we had hope back in October last year and quite a lot of movement, which is quite positive, even though it's small there, that's compared to this whole graph. Um, but then since then, it's been fairly, fairly low. So not a great token at the moment, but I'm not a financial advisor. So, you know, I'm holding my token. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So let's get to the weekly update. So this is the weekly update from February the 21st on enter.blog. So this is where they, they update everybody um, in terms of latest news on the project. And uh, as you know, I mint my music on Enter the Audio because I'm a synth pop artist known as Cyber Monday. So they start off by saying the team's do in development with Enter Dot Market, and there's a preview. So I'll show you that in a second. Most of the design for that is now finished, and we can't wait to share it all with you. So there's been a lot of growth. So they've had 20% growth in the Facebook group, 25,000 plus members on Reddit, and 3,000 likes on the Facebook page. In terms of the quality of life, uh, they're doing the functionality for the NFT burn functionality. It's quite important. That's A lot of people have been wanting that because the more tokens that are burnt, the more chance there is of the token increasing in price. And they're looking at the multi-minted NFTs being displayed in the sold section as well. More dev updates. We've got new features for enter.art and enter.audio, and there's also an enter.market sneak peek. So let me zoom into this just to show you. Yeah, this is how they started the previous markets, just putting in kind of templated texts and things. Okay, so this is enter.market. So you'll see, how do I show this without, it's because I've zoomed in, isn't it? Okay. So you've got enter.market here. You've got home, explore, rewards, soon and lending soon. So very much regarding the market in terms of the token. You can connect your wallet, such as MetaMask via there. You can do search functionality, night, day mode, and that's your profile with notifications there. So you can see you've got description here in terms of exploring collections, listing NFTs, top collections at the moment, and new collections, featured art NFTs, featured audio NFTs. So it's bringing all of those NFTs from those two different platforms, hopefully into one, but we'll have to wait and see in terms of a lot more of the finer detail. We've got top sellers here. There was a hangout in the community. It was inspirational. We hope to see more people hosting their own events in the Enterverse. They like to call their Metaverse the Enterverse. Um, they've grown to more than 25,000 members on Reddit. So they'll be doing a giveaway this week. There's still one day left. That's probably gone now. Team news. So there was, they're based in Norway, the team are. And they, um, they did a panel talk debate discussion regarding NFTs. Simon, who's, Simon's been on quite a few of the Twitch streams in the past, mainly last year. And Emily as well. I've spoken to Emily. She's great. Um, among the panel participants, you could find other people in there. But again, not great in terms of, you know, latest update stuff. In terms of the blog posts, they've been looking at NFTs a lot more on their enter.blog, which is what I'm on, such as why NFTs and generative art NFTs, which is something that I do like. And they've expressed the fact that the phenomenon is on the rise on enter.art. Generative art is something that I have been using on my music NFTs, so I might do a video on that in the future. 
I think it would be good to show you how I create them and what I use in terms of the tools and you know how, how straightforward it, it can be so um, in terms of collection highlights that's just kind of featured stuff and there you go happy next week enter dot team so let's have a quick look at enter dot audio so if we have a look at the enter dot audio at the moment you can see you can change to enter dot art or enter dot blog via the drop down icon here you can focus on the artists now the artists section um, is literally a bit like this for me I'd like it shrunk and I'd like to have a, just just kind of an array of different artists in terms of just more visual rather than having to scroll down our life seems to be constantly scrolling down and changing pages so why not make it easier why not get rid of the tracks and literally just have profile pictures and, and short descriptions about that you've also got genres so if I have a, look, have a look at genres here now this also includes a genre artists from the launch pad which is interesting so you can see there's a huge array of different genres to look at. Some of them, I think it's because I'm in dark mode. <laughs> Perhaps there's a little bug there or something. Let me just make sure. It does seem to work. So this is hip hop, but it's also there. That's, that's confused me a little bit. I'm sure there is an explanation from the team as to why that is so. If I click on synth pop as an example. Oh, there you go. There's nobody that likes hip hop, which we know is not true. Um, that previous link just started to load. So I'll click on Synth Pop. And lo and behold, who should come up on the first page? Wah! So there you have it. So you can literally click on my profile to start. And now you can see the other artists that deal with Synth Pop. Um, so if I click on myself just to have a quick look, what I like about Enter.audio is the way that it's. The interface is so great, you know? It, it's kind of got realms of Bandcamp and realms of Spotify together because you can stream music on here, you can purchase music on here, you've got playlists. I just really like it. Any tracks that you've liked will be shown here. All tracks that have been um, done by the artist will be shown there. And then you've got these different headings at the top. So you've got created. So these are all of the different releases that have been created. And another thing that I really like about Enter.audio is that you can have entire albums as one NFT. And that is something that I haven't seen on other NFT music platforms or NFT platforms for that matter. I just haven't seen it. You've always had to create one track per NFT with a picture associated with it or you do a link or something like that. But no, this is purely able to release a whole album as one NFT that you are able to purchase. And I just love that, you know. You can click on a track and it'll literally at the bottom start previewing it. You then have options to like it, add it to a playlist. You've got ellipse buttons as well. You can remove it from a playlist if you don't like it. It's just very, for me, it's very straightforward which is what I do like to see. So you can see on here I've released a lot of different NFTs, a lot of albums, a lot of singles, a lot of rare tracks as well. Um, and then you've also got the launch pad. Um, oh, sorry, if I go back, just before I forget. You've got collected here, so the NFTs that I've purchased myself, as well as collaborations. Now, how cool is that? Now, that's something that is a um, possibility on Foundation but you're able to put in collaborations on here as well. As well as see all of the transactions of the sales of the people that have purchased your music. One thing that I love about this and music NFTs, you think about streaming, you need so many streams just to earn $1 or one pound, yeah. You can literally just put your music NFTs out there for a low price and people that like them can buy them and they are generally a lot more um, than what you would get if you were streaming. One sale equals what you wanted to sell it for. And that's huge compared to thousands and thousands and thousands of streams just for a couple of dollars on Spotify. I'm, I'm biased, it's iTunes, Apple Music as well, there's many others, Tidal. Um, so yeah, it, it's just a huge opportunity for music artists to get on board with music NFTs. So I love that. I'm sure I'll do a video about that soon. So then you have the launch pad, which is great because anybody that, that kind of gets onboarded into the um, platform will then be able to start uploading their music. And featured artists, kind of curated artists, only show up in the artists, and all of the other artists that are onboarded 
go into the launch pad. And I just like how that works. That's exactly how they did it with enter.art. But what it doesn't mean is if you are, say, enter.audio um, featured artist, that doesn't mean that you are an enter.art featured artist. Um, and that's kind of something that I was kind of thinking whether it should be like that or not. But let's be honest, musicians are um, maybe not art people and vice versa. So that's why they dealt with the um, functionality for collaboration. There's a lot of albums on here. I mean, this one's got 17 tracks on it. Experimental Hip Hop. It's currently $92. There's only one of 10. And you can purchase it with BMB. Uh, this one, for example, has three traps. This is a trap hip hop al uh, kind of EP. And of this one, there's uh, 199 of them. And they are 10 BUSD. So it's stable coin. So very interesting. Some music NFTs have still and the others have animation. So you're able to upload GIFs, which I think is, again, pretty cool. And I like how it's got different sections. So it's a bit like Apple Music in that respect, how you've got various genres, for example. And then if you're not interested in that, you can have a look at recent sales to see what's sold recently. That's an example of generative art. Very cool. It may be that that person created that image and then wanted AI to produce the visuals for it as a movie. Or it may be that it's been com completely created by AI. But yeah, it keeps, Yoda keeps staring at me, it's quite scary. Okay, so let's have a look at Enter.Art because I do like to view these platforms once in a while, particularly when it's been a little while, just to kind of see what's changed, what hasn't. So you sign in with your wallet and then you can have a look at all of the art on Enter.Art. Exactly the same thing, but they've also got blog. Um, you've got the featured, curated um, artists and galleries here. Oh gosh, that's a bit disturbing, isn't it? And you can see here, there's a big mix. You've got some music NFTs that are eight, uh, no, some art NFTs that are $8.54. Others are 120 four dollars you've got auctions you've got buy it now the functionality that the enter team have done on here is just great and i knew they were onto something it's just very unfortunate about the token if we can get the token to increase that will make a huge difference i think so let's see how we get on so let me know in the comments section what you think and hope you enjoyed this video and i'll speak to you on the next one take care bye